Can you please tell us your name and give us a brief description of what you do for a living? My name is Stephen Key, and I'm an inventor. Um, I've come up with a new system. It's a 10-step system to teach people how they can bring their own ideas to market through licensing. And I brought my own ideas uh, to market through these 10 steps. I also write about it for Forbes, Inc., and Entrepreneur, and I have a book out called One Simple Idea. Can you also tell us, please, um, why do you feel that entrepreneurship is important? Why is it important? Um, I think it's important for our economy. I think it's just important um, to create things that are going to solve people's problems. Uh, I think it's fun if you're an inventor. I think it's fun if you're creative. And if you've got those ideas and you want to see people use them, uh, I think you're going to love being an entrepreneur because it's all about creating something that someone truly wants and hopefully um, it's successful. And hopefully you make a little bit of money while you're doing it. That would be great. And um, we mentioned the 10-step method. Could you just tell us briefly a little bit about the 10-step method, what it is, uh, I guess maybe some of the 10 steps? <laughs> all right. The 10 steps are actually very simple. And it's all built on um, the theory that you should try to sell the benefit of your idea first. That means you don't have to file expensive patents or build expensive prototypes or even start a, a company. What you want to do is sell that benefit of your idea first. And you can protect it with a provisional patent application that you can file yourself. It's extremely affordable. And then get this one-page sell sheet. It's like a one-page advertisement to a company that's looking for ideas. So these 10 steps talks about, like I said, you, you come up with an idea, you protect it with the provisional patent application, you have one page advertisement, and find those companies that, looking, that are looking for ideas from us. They're called open innovation companies, and if they like it, they're gonna take it to market for you, and they're gonna do all the work. So those 10 steps really bring you all the way to the point of negotiating that deal to get the licensing agreement. That's really good. All right. Um, can you, oh, it, in 2017, you co-founded the Inventors Group of America. Can you tell us a little bit about that? I realized that I've been working with inventing groups across the country. And some of the members are just not successful. They've been doing it the old traditional way, meaning I'm going to start a company, I'm going to file expensive patents, and I'm going to build expensive prototypes. Then I'm going to test my idea to see if the market wants it. See, I, I told you, I flipped it. Let's sell the benefit first. If you cannot sell the benefit first, why go to the trouble to start a company, build prototypes, and file expensive patents? So what I've been trying to teach these members of these presidents of, of these clubs across the country, give your members a couple different options. Because when I visit these clubs, and I have for the last 10 years or so, inventors are struggling. They're sitting there with a patent. They're sitting there with an expensive prototype, and nothing's happening. So what I'm trying to do is bring this whole community together for the first time so they can talk to one another, they can learn from each other, and we can help them look at different options, not just the one option, that's the traditional option, I'm going to start a business. So that's why I'm helping the group. That's really amazing work. Um, is licensing a product or an invention a difficult process? No, licensing is a blast. You could do it anywhere you can live anywhere in the world and do it. It doesn't matter if you're 18 to 82. It doesn't matter if, um, if you even have a job. You don't even have to quit your job. You can do this. So licensing is basically coming up with an idea that a company needs, showing that idea to a company, and if they like it, they're going to rent it from you. So it's really simple. Anybody can do it. In fact, we see students doing it almost every single week now for the last year and a half. So it's exciting for someone to have that creativity and bring it to market and they can see it in the store shelves and, of course, produce a little bit of revenue. Everybody likes that. So, yes, anybody can do it and it's easy to do. That's great. What advice would you give to someone who wants to become an entrepreneur? Well, I think the most important thing you can do if you want to become an entrepreneur, find someone that's doing exactly what you want to do and reach out to them beg them to teach you, beg them to let you watch them do it, and just take all that information. In fact, my father told me, get close to someone that's doing exactly what you want to do and just suck all that information out of them. I think that's the fastest way. And realize you're going to make some mistakes. Okay, that's perfectly fine. But the one thing I like about the licensing business model, there's no fear. 
There's no fear of failure because you're not spending a lot of money. You don't have to quit your job. Anybody can do it. So I'm I'm like the the um, I, I tell everybody all the time I'm the no risk entrepreneur because that's what licensing does. It allows anybody anywhere to get in the game, take that creativity, bring it to market. So I think everybody should be an entrepreneur. It's fun and uh, it's exciting. I definitely agree with that.